Hello. This is a lump of diamond. The blue spheres are carbon atoms. Each carbon atom has four bonds with its neighbours. The structure of this framework gives the diamond its strength. So let's look at this structure. Its name is the diamond cubic structure because the pattern repeats in the form of cubes. This is the unit cell. This is the pattern of atoms that repeats by translation throughout the volume. There's an atom at each corner, one in the middle of each face, and three more inside. These tetrahedra show you where the internal atoms are found. But there are more interesting shapes hiding in this structure. Here's one. This shape is the set of points that are closest to the atom in the centre. This is the Voronoi cell of the carbon atoms in diamond. The name for this shape is the Triarchis truncated tetrahedron. It is almost a tetrahedron, just with a bit of the corners taken off. Every carbon atom in diamond has the same shape around it, so these little tetrahedra have the rare property that we can completely fill space by using them as building blocks. Let's take away the framework so you can see the shapes more clearly. As you can see, we can keep building as far as we want. By the way, regular tetrahedra don't pack like this. They don't fill space. Let's go back to the framework. Another interesting shape uses the edges of the diamond framework. The name for this shape is the rhombic dodecahedron. As with the previous shape, it can be used to fill up space with four copies around the bottom, four in the middle, and four on top. Some of the vertices of the rhombic dodecahedron use the empty space between the carbon atoms. There's actually enough room in there for a whole another copy of the diamond framework. This is sometimes known as double diamond. The compound of sodium and thallium has this structure. So, that's the atomic structure of diamond, and some of the interesting things found within it. It has no fewer than three space-filling shapes, or plesiohedra. These shapes are the cube, the triarchus truncated tetrahedron, and the rhombic dodecahedron. You can find links to everything I've talked about on the descriptions page.